Hey everyone, uh, this is Alistair from Koyeb, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the control panel. At the same time, I'm going to be showing you how fast it is to deploy an example Go application across our six regions simultaneously. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move on over to the platform. If you haven't deployed anything on us yet, this is what you'll see. If you'd like to get started quickly, you can deploy any one of our example applications. Today I'm going to be deploying uh, from my GitHub repository, so I'm going to go ahead and click Create App. Now this is where you can select your deployment method. You can deploy pre-built containers from any container registry using this deployment method, but today we'll be using GitHub and leveraging the uh, continuous deployments that come with deploying with Git. Here's where you can search for your repository. You can find it here if you've worked on it recently. You can also deploy any public GitHub repository. You just won't be able to use auto deploy, for example, when using that. So I'm going to go ahead and select my repository, which is this example Golang application. And now I'm on the service creation page where I can select my application's name, the branch I want to deploy, how I want Koyab to build my app. We also support um, builds from Docker files if you need more control over the build process. I'm going to go ahead and keep it as the default build pack option. This is where you can select your service type. And we also support deploying uh, workers, but today I'm deploying a web service, so I'll keep it as is. Now this is where you can select the regions you want to deploy. To be able to deploy across our six regions, you'll need to uh, use a different instance type. So I'll go ahead and select the nano instance type. You can upgrade to access these larger instance types down here. But for my application today, nano works just fine. And now I can click on our six regions. Down here is where I can add environment variables, specify the port I'd like to use, the protocol I want to be used to reach my application. And this is where I can horizontally scale the number of instances running per region. I'm going to keep it down for one, but just wanted to show you how easy it is. And uh, last but not least, uh, I want to just change the name of my app to demo. And this will be used to create some domain for my app. But of course, you can always configure and add your own custom domain later. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hit deploy. So now the platform is taking care to build my application. I can see the build logs down here. Once it's finished building, uh, it's going to take care of creating micro VMs that are running directly on bare metal servers to run my application uh, across these regions that I've selected. And uh, once it's finished deploying, I'll be able to access it at this public URL. Uh, the build and uh, run should be finished in a couple minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to then. And that's it, my app is live, running across these six regions, Frankfurt, Paris, San Francisco, Singapore, Tokyo, and Washington, DC. I can access the app by clicking on this uh, public URL, and I see this hello from Koya message as expected. And that's it, thank you so much for watching. Um, we can't wait to see what you're going to deploy across these six regions. If you have ideas for a new feature, let us know on our feature request platform. If you ever want to reach out to us, so we're on Twitter and we have a Slack and a Koyab community, which I'll link all down below. And last but not least, uh, we also have a Koyab CLI if you prefer to deploy your applications directly from the terminal. Uh, I'll link that down below as well. Again, thank you so much. I'm wishing you a great day. Bye.